Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. And today, I've been waiting to go over this for a few years now. Real quick. Oh, yeah. Goat Lord Reflections of the Solstice. Nuclear War Now Records. Brought to you by the, to the channel from the patron picks poll. Hell yes. I have been after this for a very long time. Very mysterious record and I will go over why because I'm still kind of confused about the Ace Still or Mitch Harris vocals because it's just I, I know the band was very into hallucinogenics and you can even tell by them purposely like using electronic drums and like just not really sounding like anyone else during this time period. And it's just awesome. Because the only band, like, I can honestly compare to Goat Lord off the top of my head is Worm. Like, Gloom Lord, Error Worm, is very Goat Lord influenced. I mean,. Black Doom Metal. And born in 1985 in Las Vegas, Nevada, Goat Lord released a string of cult demos, which are all amazing, and then entered a studio to record their first album, Reflections of the Solstice, which was initially released by Turbo Music in 1991. And by JL America in 1992. Mandatory listening for fans of Hellhammer, Necro Schisma, Dream Death, and Necrophagia. I love that outfit Jeff's wearing. Just sick. But yeah, Goat Lord loved their selves hallucinogenics, which kind of makes it confusing because I don't know if like certain things were done on purpose because I read somewhere that Mitch Harris of Napalm Death did all the vocals but then he's only credited with backing vocals on Underground Church Acid Orgy and Sacrifice but Mitch Harris, just in case, like, so it's just one of those things, like, who's really on vocals? I, I don't, I don't know, and I think that's cool. I like that mystery. Like, I'm sure somebody watching, like, actually knows, but I don't want to know. Like, if it's Ace, cool. If it's really, you know, Mitch. That's even cooler. I, I like that legacy of having, you know, a legendary record that still has these unknown elements all these years later. And again, I'm sure YK at Nuclear War Now knows, but I'm glad he kept it on the DL. Like, this is such a nice reissue. And I think it was in 2007, I think, was when Nuclear War Now first acquired the Goat Lord rights. Because I remember, like, and I'm, I'm, again, my memory's not the best from this time period. But, like, I definitely remember, like, because this is one of my favorite, like, you know, Chris covers and like he was killing it in like you know 91 and stuff but I just I love how the fucking goat chariot looks like it's so cool there's like this fucking like 
it's it's so it's one it's just one of my favorite like you know Moen pieces. Moyen Moen. I always fuck Chris's name up. And finally, I want to show you folks this too because this is also part of the patron picks. I never had this on cassette, and I never had this cover. Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom, the white edition. But the cassette, oh my goodness, it sounds great. And this vinyl, holy shit, this sounds amazing. I'm blown away with just how good nuclear war now has like been since moving to austin texas it's one of my favorite songs on the record it's just fucking heavy as shit but every song on here is bad ass just riffs and it's just fucking great killer vocals it's doomy it's gloomy but it's still evil as fuck like it's really like when shit gets slow, it gets slow. It's it's fucking good. Nineties black doom, I I guess you know. It's technically it is a death metal, you know. It's one of those things, but like like it's so fucking good because like that's straight up doom. And, like, the way the vocals are, yeah, it's Black Doom, but, like, you know, the second wave of Black Metal hadn't happened yet. It's, like, so cool and ahead of its time. Like, you, fuck yeah. Rich is so fucking good. But this is one of those records, like, every track. So good. And these Nuclear War Now color reissues also just extremely fucking nice. Great color scheme. And like, I, I'm keeping this on the turntable for a little bit because I feel like listening to it some more. But you have Blood Monk, Distorted Birth, The Fog, Underground Church, Chicken Dance, Acid Orgy, Possessed Soldiers of War, and Sacrifice. So good. And look at that Goat Lord logo. Oh. One of those logos, like the uh, Moen of Zebeth logo, I just find very pleasing to the eyes. It's just fucking sick. There's something about it that's just dope. But again, just like what a killer demo. Dawn of Morbid Sorcery. I mean, there's a lot of bands that, like, obviously have taken a page from Goat Lord's book. I'm sorry if I accidentally called them Goat Throne any time throughout this video. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but yeah, if I accidentally said that, I'm sorry. But um, this is, like, probably, like, as much as I, I love the demo shit, like, this is just probably my favorite Goat Lord recording. And I love, I absolutely just, I think that logo is so goddamn cool. But this, that's just perfect in my opinion. <laughs> like, just everything about it, perfect. Like, the artwork here as well, like, just cosmetically evil as fuck. But, like, again, like, having, like, Three different, like, logos, pretty much. That's, I, I, and, like, I just, I, I love it. Like, I really do. I think it's just bad ass. 
And Goat Lord's one of those bands in America without nuclear war now, like, this would probably be, like, 500 fucking dollars. Like, I'm not even joking. You have to thank YK for giving a shit about the past of extreme music. Because seriously, like, without certain labels keeping, you know, and I know some of you swear by the first presses and you don't give a fuck about anything past 1997, and, you know, that's on you. But I personally have an open mind, and, you know, like, shit like this does not exist. Like, I, I'm not going to get a bunch of, like, it would cost so much money to get all these releases, like, original. Like, on cassette, you would have to get the 1991 demo on tape. You'd have to get the 1992 demo on tape. You would have to get the fucking 7-inch EP. Like, it would be just so costly, you might, like, why not just get the reissue? I understand some purists out there, but, like, some of this stuff, this is the first time it's ever been put on vinyl. Like, I don't know. I understand, though, the first press thing sometimes. Other times, it's like, are you, are you like, trying to rub it in? Because I don't care. Like, I really don't. Like, I've had people be like, oh, yo, first, first press of Nest Pet. I'm like, okay. Like, that's cool, but, like, and what about it? They're like, oh, like, I just wanted to show you. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, that's cool. Like, you know, good for you. But, like, you know, mine plays the same music. Like, when I went over the Embalm reissue, I guess one of like the sickest reissues to come out recently. I was surprised to shit, honestly. Like, Hospital Productions was involved in this, and the fact that Embalm hit me up and was like, "Yo, do you want a copy on like tape and vinyl?" I was like, "What? Yes, like <laughs> fuck yes," and it's just it's so good. Like, again, like, what a good reissue. Another example of, like, obviously giving a fuck. Prelude to Obscurity, yo. Like, on cassette as well. That's the one thing. I wish I had this Goat Lord on tape also. Again, just, it's one of the, it's getting close to summertime. I just love... You know, like, certain tunes in the summer, like, when it's all humid out and shit, but, like, there's so much, I, I love this reissue. 20 bucks spin and hospital productions in bomb. Such a cool, cool reissue. Midwest 90s brutality. But yeah, somebody was like, oh, I, 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 I'm i going to get first, first press. I was like, I don't even know if there is one. But if there is, go ahead. Be my fucking guest. Like, I'm happy as shit just to have a copy. And here with Goat Lord, again, Reflections of the Solstice. What a good fucking record. Just links will be in the video description. Do not sleep on this. Black Doom Metal from 1991. Goat Lord, Reflections of the Solstice. Thank you again to the Patreon. This is just part one. This and Fallen Angel of Doom on cassette. Because we're going to do a Blasphemy Worship video soon. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. If you want to support the channel, just watch a video or join the daily updated Patreon, 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 and let see, my brain sucks, but you don't. Thank you. 
You fucking ruled hair. Nerd.